Hey, rascal, don't follow me. You ain't getting me treasure. Go find that Scotty guy. He'll show you how to make your own treasure. So here guys, here's my uh, treasure chest, they're uh, base painted uh, flat black, and uh, the open one of course. And so I'm going to use uh, dark brown, you could really use any dark brown, and I'm just going to paint these, uh, wet it up a bit, and then just wash them in this dark brown, give it a nice uh, brown undercoat. And you see I got a glove there to keep the mess down. Now they're dried, so I'm going to use a lighter brown and uh, brush this on. You see how the technique I'm using, I'm brushing back and uh, pulling the brush to give a kind of wood uh, look to the chest. Just pull it across the surface. I uh, did this with the chair video. And there you go, all done. Now I'm going to use some uh, thin cardstock and a gunmetal. Uh, these are an eighth of an inch thick and I'll just uh, paint the gunmetal on there. I've just cut these strips out of a thin cardstock that you'd run through a printer. And I'm going to use, uh, after I get those uh, painted up, I'm going to use a little bit of burnt umber to kind of give uh, like a rusty color on the uh, banding there. All right. I got my strips. And uh, pull those off the surface. And let them dry. It'll only take a second. They'll be ready for to apply to the chest. So here's my chest. And I've got the strip. It's just that thin cardstock. And this will be a nice banding for the chest itself. So. I'm going to twist it around the top, uh, kind of measure it by putting it on the piece. Uh, same with the front bits. And then I'll just apply them with some white glue. It'd be a lot easier than trying to do it with the hot glue method. It's just really hard to do that with this kind of thin stuff. And uh, I got that. So I got the front and the back banding. Now I'm going to do banding over the top of the chest. So I'll just do the same thing. I'll just twist it over the top of the, the chest and I'll give it a nice. A banding effect to that and same here just likely you have may have to hold it for a little bit but your fingers will get a bit sticky but it's much easier than trying to use the the hot glue there and there we go I got the all got the banding all on looking great now I've got these uh, links these jewelry links and uh, these gonna be, are they're like basically rings and these are gonna be great for the sides of the chest so I'm gonna use a piece of small piece of that uh, cardstock I use for the banding and just slip the ring on there and then just squeeze it so I get a little lip, or I get a little piece that I can glue to the chest, right? It's like a little piece of banding that the ring is attached to, okay? So I'm going to use hot glue and just glue that on the side, right on the side of the chest there. They have a really nice effect. Look at that. That look good? Yeah. Just that little thing makes a really big deal. Now for the last step, I'm going to do a... Uh, the small glass bead and this is a gunmetal color so it's already it's already a great color for it I'm gonna use it for the lock so I'm just gonna hot glue it right on the front of the chest and couldn't be easier wow that's looking really good but I do want to do one last detail to kind of make the banding stand out and I'm gonna use a, this uh, black acrylic paint a very thin brush and I'm gonna kinda of go around along the edge of the banding and I'm just doing this very lightly you see I'm dipping in the water and um, I'm not putting the paint on full strength and this will give a bit of shadow and definition to that banding and really make it pop out from the chest. So just follow the banding around. And I'm also going to do where the lid meets the, the chest itself. And that will give it some definition. So there we go. Really looks awesome. Really made that banding pop out. So here's my other chest, the open chest. Okay. And you see I just put a glue glob, glob in there, but I'm going to use some white glue and, and put some of that on top of the dried uh, hot glue glob. And I'm going to use these white, these are these small beads and this round glitter. Now the small beads were multicolored to begin with, so that was great. They simulate jewels. And I'll just put the round glitter uh, into the chest itself. And wow, look, an instant treasure right there. Here I have a nice room with the uh, nice 2.5D tile with the treasure set in. Our uh, excited adventurers come in the room and they're all excited they got a chest. And, uh, who's going to open it? Oh, we'll let the mage do it. <laughs> all right, let me give you a close look at the uh, all dried and everything. Look how good that looks. Um, and that is all just cardboard, 
some cardstock, and those little jewelry bits that we put on there. But that really looks good for a paper chest. And it has the uh, nut in it, so it has the weight. Okay, here's the, uh, now they open the treasure chest, and you can give them the uh, treasure, the one that has treasure in it. Look how uh, awesome that looks, the, the, the glitter sparkling in the light, and you can see the gems in there. Really, really cool. All right, so, of course, uh, now the, the adventurers have to fight over the treasure. Who gets the most treasure? Hey crafters, I hope you enjoyed the vid and found it helpful. Uh, make sure to give your Scotty a like if you did like the vid. Also, make sure to check out the Crafters Tavern, which is uh, the DMG and I uh, promoting uh, the 2.5D method. So next time, until next time, go forth and craft.